Hello everybody, uh, Dimmy G and this is Chalice44. Uh, we are on to round two. Um, we've got Bright, who uh, came through Necronomes Ogres uh, in round one. 2-0 um, win, I think it was. And then we've got Debaser, who banged on some lizards. I think I said that... Um, I think I said that... Uh, Bester's played uh, he, he like they both played against lizards but i think i uh zoom in on the picks <clears throat> uh they they i'll tell you what the things are anyway <laughs> i was awful i don't know i don't know um but yeah anyway so uh chaos came through some lizards absolutely banged on some lizards killed a really good skink on the way uh we have got eldrill one of my sidewinder i think he is one of my favorite uh star players uh, especially for high elves anyway He's got a movement up catcher, he's got an Agi 5 blitzer, he's got two rookie linos, he's got two loner linos. Eldrill does give him a bench as well. There's no wizard, so I don't think there's a wizard. I'll check that in a sec. Uh, he's got a tackle blodge step blitzer, he's got a thrower with blodge, and he's got a strength four blodge step catcher. Uh, he's also got kick and rodge, and he's also got a wrestle lino. So really basic high elf team, like really, really basic high elf team. The catch is probably the, the thing, and L drill. No wizard is, uh, I guess he wants the bench, right? He wants the bench. And then this chaos team is like really, really nice. So I'd argue this is probably the nicest chaos team in the cup. <clears throat> He's got a strength for uh, goat with tackle mighty blow, which is amazing against high elves. Uh, guard mighty blow, uh, block, uh, sorry, yeah, guard mighty blow, block warrior. Strength 5 block guard warrior. He's got the block claw palm warrior. Uh, the claw mighty uh, guard block warrior. <laughs> he's got a rackle goat, my favourite goat on the chaos team. Uh, he's got two guard uh, goats, two block guard goats. He's got another strength up uh, goat with block. He's got a vampire goat. So he's got an agi 4, strength 4, uh, blodge, sure hands goat. And he's also got a roger goat. Uh, he's got a wrestle goat on the bench and he's got a rookie lino. So it does look like uh, the Chaos won the toss and they are. I think they've also got the fame as well. Yeah, they've got the fame. Uh, so yeah, Chaos have won the toss and they've kicked to the elves. Um, again, like I like with this team, I would be tempted just to punch else. I, I'd be tempted to. Uh... Oh, there is a wizard. Yeah, I think there's a wizard. So where it's invisible here, you get this on replay sometimes. So <clears throat> when you watch the replay, the the slot is there, but it doesn't show the wizard. But because it's there and not there, it it means there is a wizard. So I mean, with all these skills, you got to imagine it's a wizard and an L drill. <clears throat> Not basic, but like TV, TV light, TV light. So yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, like one of the there's a replay bug that doesn't show the wizards, um, so you can't see it, but it is there. Uh, so touchback is a, a nice start for the. Are we gonna see a Dakar? We're we gonna see a Dakar. Ho holy moly! I mean, whatever, whatever way. And the thing is, right, the Dakar is actually so much better with uh, Eldrill as well because you can you can hypno gaze the front line blitz the back line and open up because the, the the columns is the way you play against the dacker right you, you do the columns and the problem with the columns is like to when you are the person doing the dacker the problem with the columns is you can only normally knock out the front line of the column uh, but with Eldrill uh, you just gaze the front line hit the back line and you've made yourself like a big massive hole to run through yeah, so what Debase has done here as well, which is actually pretty clever, is the way he's set up, uh, it denies hits on the other... Like, he probably he probably f saw the Dakar coming, to be honest. So he's set up in a way that you have to make the dodges instead of, like, blitzing one and running back. It's quite a nice setup. Plus, it's, it's kind of strong against the Blitz as well. Uh, not the Blitz. It's not strong against the Quick Snap, but it's, it's kind of it's, it's kind of strong-ish against the Quick Score. I don't think Bright ever wanted to Quick Score anyway. I mean, he, he could have gone for it, but it's so hard to, like, get up and around. Like, because you can only start two guys in the side, so he'd have to, like, start, like, in a bulge. So let's see what his uh, answer to the uh, 
the the Dakar is and like this is the thing where right? he's got the strength on the outside like having that strength go is amazing so he's got the tackle here uh he's got the strength on the outside again so it saves you bits in so rather than going columns as well rather than going columns he's gone for a flat line which is uh also interesting i don't know about the tackle mighty blow being like on the front line i'd probably have him as a sweeper but i guess the rack will go is just a better sweeper right and then, like, yeah, uh, he's, he, although he's daiquiring, this he's actually moving up now. So he's he's not allowing him to push him all the way back. This is uh, this is quite this is quite thematic, isn't it? It's quite it's quite yeah, Eldrew in the middle. So it, you got you got to think that he's busting on through next turn. He's busting on through. It, it'll be interesting in, if the base are bases everyone this next turn. I'm assuming he's going to. I'm assuming he's going to. But there is there is risk involved with that. Definitely risk involved with that. Like this next turn is going to be pretty fascinating, to be fair. He's just going to claw hit the uh, loner. Fair. Easy target. Is he going to pom? Gets the Kaz. He's not going to pom. I don't think he would have pom. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say he wasn't going to pom even if he did, like if he didn't break armor. Because I, I think the position in there is just much stronger. So six of guards in. Where's Eldra? Eldra was here. The problem with the the way that elves have done it as well is that they're spread. So wherever he puts the hole, wherever he puts the hypno gaze. Ah, uh, this is yeah. This is the other thing as well about being flat. That's better about. It's better to be flat than the columns because it makes the hypno gaze harder. Um, but he has, if you haven't noticed, left a massive hole here, which is uh, problematic. Is he going to gaze? I mean, that's easy as you like. And I'll tell you what, the other funny thing, right? So this this is a valid point as well, right? This game was restarted yeah so they i don't know how far they got i don't know how far they got but um apparently bright had a power cut um so they had to restart the game so he might have seen this strategy like already like i don't know whether they i don't know whether they uh <laughs> leaving a hole without the gaze yeah i did think that as soon as i said it um but i don't know whether they like had a gentleman's agreement where whoever won the toss had to like be the same kickoff so it'd be interesting to see if like um like bright won the toss in the first one and it was a different selection or whether whether it just so happened that it turned out the same way and stuff so i might i might even have a cheeky peek at the uh the, the game that got restarted just to see if there was any like shenanigans and stuff gets the power on l drill because there's a certain psychology to it if you've just played like a certain way against the guy and then you've had to restart. Maybe it only maybe it only just got to the beginning as well. So and like with Eldrill being down here, you don't really want to take the three plus two plus dodges to gaze anything else. But I mean, this is like a two plus dodge. Vampire goat comes in. Ooh. So now is it? So it's a little bit tight. It's a it's a little bit tight. Uh, so it's just going for the one D on wrestle. Gets the wrestle. That's awkward. I oh, just gonna dodge through. So, so I mean, it's just a two plus. Oh, there's the first one failed. Oh, mate, that's that is now terrifying. Makes it. He's got no re rolls for all these dodges. Oh my god, and he fails. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? He's out of range. Yeah, I guess like without the armor break. If that was an armor break, that would have been mad, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Vampire Goat can make it. Like, 
This is quite... Hello, Lyrison. This is quite interesting, because, like, do you blitz, right? Do you blitz this guy? And then foul. <laughs> and then foul with the Roger. Like, you don't want to foul with the Roger, because he's obviously... Oh, he's chaining him up. This is nice. So you can now pick... Oh, he's still one square out. Uh, he's going to blitz. No, he can't. He can't fill. He can't fill enough squares. But you can definitely get the vampire go back and up in play. Oh, there we go. That's the first casualty. Keep trying is dead. Can foul, should foul. Yeah, I was thinking this should be the foul. I was thinking this should be the foul. So you, you take both GFIs. That sucks. And then you, you foul. Yeah, he's putting the boot in as well. Gets the armor break as well. Does get sent off, but the armor break is enough. This is now a chaos drive. I don't think. I don't think he can get. I guess he can. He is probably blitzable. <coughs> he is blitzable, but it's a one day. So it's just gone for a chain push to chain him out here to make it a two plus dodge out. Is he gonna base? Yep. And now this is awkward because it's oh he's going for the ball. Nice. I didn't know whether he'd go for the the ball or not. Hello, Specky. Who's muscle of nuffle? Is that muse of nuffle? This is just super stressful as offense, isn't it? The dice sequence he just made with the GFIs normally. What would you do when you went? I know, I know. It's like, it, yeah. It's, it, yeah, I, I kind of think it fell apart, like, really quickly. And he's going to get this guy surfed. I mean, this guy's a GFI away, right? One, two, three, four, five. GFI. GFI for a 2D without tackle or wrestle. He can't really put the... I don't mean he can put the re-roll in. I, well, no, I think you have to put the re-roll in. But you might have to put the re-roll into the GFI. It's double GFI because he's move bust. He's, he's not putting the assist in. Oh, his horns. Ignore me, I'm an idiot. His horns. Of course he is. It's just a 2D. <laughs> Such a twat. Doesn't get him. Does put the re-roll in. Doesn't get him. That sucks. I, do you know what? I don't know if I put the re-roll in there. I don't know if I put the reroll in there. I don't know, it's so hard. Yeah, Chaos Warriors move bust is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, but he's obviously put him here to stop him switching sides, which is the obvious thing to do because he can just outrun him, but. Can you get this guy up and over? Just bangs it in. He's got the wizard, he's got Eldrill. He's, this guy who got surfed is absolutely fine. I think he's at 11 now, though, because there was a Kaz. Oh, he's at 10, is he? He's at 10, I think. No, he's still scoring 6. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like... I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it's too bad. But he's still got two rerolls. Still got two apos. It did look terrifying, especially after the first failed dodge, right? The first failed dodge before the ball carrier went through. And then the failed GFI. If it was a, like, it would have been. It would have been interesting if, like, because if on the failed GFI, if he broke armor there, then he can, he can probably focus the catcher a bit harder. But yeah, that was that was not clean, was it? It wasn't it wasn't a clean drive at all. It was a complete nightmare from start to end, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen like I've seen high off dackers go horribly wrong. Uh there was a high off dacker in the last chalice I casted, which was not last season, the season before, against Andre's dwarfs, and my god, that was that was uh a horrible situation, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, to be fair, I, I, I still think it's correct. I, I think the strategy is correct. It's just the execution. It's the execution, isn't it? And like the way he left the hole, like because where he, where he like spread out and did the, the, the two like columns, like the high did the columns right. The problem with that and doing the Dakar is when you make the, like because he left the side open and he went up one side, all these guys over here were like nowhere near it. I, like if I had Dakar, I almost hug this center circle like i i hug the the center of the pitch because then you're not losing all those players like you're not losing the four players out on the right you you, you i mean obviously they can't go as far as the other guys and like with the strength four you can like you can pretty much blitz the goat eldril the other one make a gap through the middle Yeah, 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 yeah. And that is a failed GFI, and that is the record. And there's got the Apo. Big Apo. Big Apo. And that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing. Like we see, we see more and more Dakers, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of a really well executed Dakar that I could recommend to anyone like they've always been a bit like whoa, that was a bit rough that was a bit squeaky one time alright so now he's separating the vampire from the uh, the rest of the chaos team what is that goat doing turn 8 just to suffice the apo yeah like I mean it's rackle isn't it so I mean there's Two blodgers. There's the GFI fail. Three blodgers and a Roger. Oh man, the high elves really, really are not loud, are not able to uh, roll a GFI today. There is a wizard in play, right? There is still the wizard, I believe. So he's got to go quite a long way. Yeah, he's going for the catcher. Do you know what? I think maybe Sidewinder was the, the blitz there. Maybe Eldrill was the blitz there. He doesn't have block. And uh, you could have made it three dice. I know the strength four is tasty. But strength four ain't going to like open your cage with a hypno gaze. I think that might have been a missed opportunity. Yeah, here we go. And if he blitzed him, he would have knocked him down. Look at this, 2D on the ball. Is it working now, Al? Is it still saying the same thing? Why has it done? Oh, because it's... Oh, he wants to go with tackle, right, okay. Yeah, I thought he was going with the strength four. I was wondering why he put the extra assist in, but it makes sense. Oh, and <laughs> then the thrower. This looks good for the high elves. This looks really, really good for the high elves. Basically make a pole. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was talking about, yeah. Hello, Jimmy. No, this is round two. This is round two. Uh, so this is... Uh, look at that. <laughs> the... Uh, he rolled six, just straight up six. Uh, this is, yeah, round two. This is Debaser versus uh, Bright. So Bright beat Ogres in round one and Debaser beat Lizards in round one. Yeah, two nil, not even use the Wizard. I, I like, I, I just think you should have blitzed Eldrill. Like, Eldrill's more of a threat uh, than the Strength 4 guy. And they, they can't Apo Eldrill either, can they? They can Apo the Strength 4, but they can't Apo Eldrill. Well, it looks like that way, yeah. It looks like that way. And it's such a nice Chaos team as well. It's definitely... I think this is... From, from memory, this is the best Chaos team in the in the comp. Uh, so, extra reroll for the, the Chaos. And it's... Turn 8, so it's something or nothing, right? But 
But I mean, like more interestingly, it's uh, it's ten players for the high elves, right? Ten players for the high elves. I say ten players. <laughs> it's just about to get claw pond, right? Oh no, the claw pond's already gone. <coughs> Yeah, exactly. Can't be Apo. Doesn't have block. He can open your cage. Like, it's, yeah, it's just 100% Eldrill. It would have been interesting to see what would have happened had he blitzed Eldrill, to be fair. And that is an amazing LOS for, uh, for Bright there as well. He's, he's even got him fouling with guard. Like, that's that's how riled up. Like, you can tell that's frustration, right? That's He probably knows that he's lost. And, uh... Probably knows he's lost. He hasn't had a great LOS, so he just sticks to fouling. <laughs> like, just absolute. Uh... It's the right play he got benched, is it? I don't know. I don't think it is. He could have set it up so... Uh, the rookie goat that's right there could have fouled. He didn't have to foul with the, the guard one. He could have actually planned out his blocks properly and fouled with the rookie goat. Like, honestly, I think that's a pretty... Uh... He don't need guard in this matchup. He does. Yeah, he does need guards. <laughs> like, the more guard you've got, like... it. Like, it, it, like, if you've got guard over there and you've got guard over there, like, when you need guard over there, it's all right. <laughs> you've got guard over there. If you've got rookie over there. Daka, it's a withdrawn offense. Uh, it's a withdrawn offense. So, it's basically when you receive the ball, uh, you run all your players back. Like, you just literally... Run, like, it's normally used by Agi teams against Bash teams. When I say normally, it pretty much exclusively is used by... Uh, Agi team so they, they kick the ball to them they all run back to like here the uh, the bash team has to like move down slowly making sure that they don't um, over commit or leave gaps or anything like that and then you basically have one turn that you burst through you try and screen off as much as possible and then uh, and then like the whole idea behind it is that you don't you don't give away needless blocks so you, you're not getting punched uh, there's more space for you to move in behind. Um, like it's it, it it is effective. Like when it's done correctly, it's, it's very very effective. But there, there there are massive drawbacks to it. Like if you lose the ball, you're losing it right next to your own end zone. Um, yeah. 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 But it's, it's basically it's it's there to. Um, uh, like, uh, reduce damage basically. Skip and learn. Like again, I, I think I think I think I would set up. He's got he's got to score quick, right? He's got to score quick. I would set up like banks. I'd almost play this as the way I'd play against vampires and have like the screen. Like you only need you only need like three four players to take the hits on the LOS. So you don't need all of these guys, and he can just separate your team now. Although it doesn't look like it, he's not going for it, is he? He's just quite happy. He's two nil up. Like what's he? Like, he doesn't care, does he? He's two nil up. It is yeah, it's good. It like it's good when done correctly. But like I say, like it's. It's really hard to... I can't think of an example that I've seen in a Chalice game where I've gone, this is the example of the Dakar, because <laughs> they're always a bit sketchy. Like, people tend to do it without fully understanding it, I think. I mean, to be fair, Bright, like... I think the Bright's mistake was he was too spread at the back. And not, like, more concentrated. Um, but, yeah. It leads to really boring games. Uh, it depends. It depends what you want from your Blood Bowl. If you want bashing and crashing and killing and dying, then yeah, you can do. But, like, if you want, like, high tier quality Blood Bowl with, uh, like, 
strategy being like the the most important part of it, then like because a, a well executed Daco is actually pretty good to watch, I would say, because it's it, it's, it's quite a high a, a high a high level like strategy, I'd say. Um. Like, I don't think I don't think there's many coaches that can do it like properly. If you open up the middle with splash coach. I mean here I think it should just go straight through the middle. The the problem is is the strength force side stepper, right? The strength force side stepper's kinda of blocking that. He needs to get the ball down. He he needs to score in two turns, right? In three turns, maximum. He he ideally wants to score in two turns, and he he's he's not. <laughs> he needs GFIs to score in two turns, and uh, well, without handoffs, obviously. But he should just he should just pick a sides, hard push it. I guess this side's easier because there's no sidestep, but. I mean, we wrestle this down, right? We wrestle this down and we run up here. And then we set up the handoff. We need to score next turn. This isn't... This isn't... Far enough for what... Like, he needs... He needs to... Put the... Put, he needs to put the gas on. <laughs> he needs to basically be, like, up here, not here. Like, if you lose the ball and you lose 3 0, who cares? But you. you yeah, see, see, if he did that first, he could have run a load of guys down here. But yeah, I mean, this is all good. Oh, he's wizarding? Oh, he bolts! He's rolled a 1! So what's. Oh, man. I don't know why that wizard came, like. I was he just I guess the dodge I guess you okay okay yeah so you wizards you hypno gaze the claw and then you three plus two plus pick it up punt it maybe that's what he was thinking I <laughs> guess the KO Eldrill, what a beast. So now it's a 3 plus dodge out here. And you've got a full screen. Yep, and he makes it. And you just leave this guy on the floor, right? Yeah. I was thinking bolt there. Then 3 plus, 2 plus with strength 4 for good bounce. Yeah, I think I think he was just going to... I think what he was doing was bolt, uh, gaze, and 3 plus, 2 plus, pick it up and punt it. I think that's what he was thinking. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the strength four was floating around as well. He could have run the strength four through and punted to the strength four. There was quite a few. There was quite a few different bits and pieces he could have done there. But like the the thing that I think is with that wizards. Like maybe he could have waited another turn because the chaos aren't in scoring range yet. So. I maybe like wait till they're in scoring range to use the wizard, but obviously you don't know whether you're going to get a better opportunity after that. So one I should have avoided. I appreciate Jimmy's nonce. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy loves the Daka. <laughs> Jimmy loves the Daka. Have you played your game then, Tree? I haven't. I didn't. I think you're in. The, you're in the top half of the bracket anyway. So uh, if anyone's doing it, it'll be Elliot. But I know we're we're not doing ones. Generally, the other guys have already streamed. Just to be lazy. <laughs> Just to. Uh... Oh, CNA. Oh, yeah. I watched a bit. I should know that. Yeah, it was against Chorfs, wasn't it? I did watch a bit of that. I watched a bit of that. Your game is Wednesday. Nice. Good luck. Um, I think it's a better matchup than Sendane was, that's for sure. Sendane was a horrible matchup. Now I have to do a pro elf run next season with a team called No Daka. No Daka. I mean, it's, op it's optional, isn't it? It's like, I think it's, 
it's fine like in certain matchups i think it's absolutely the right thing to do in certain matchups like this particular matchup i think it is the legitimate strategy but um like i think yeah some people use it in every like matchup where like there's not that much bang on the other team and you could actually just stand there and have a bit of a fight with them first like it, it, it comes for me it comes more into effect when it's like when there's loads of tackle mighty blow and stuff like that POM, DPs, all that sort of nonsense. Whereas if you're against a rookie Chaos team, there's <laughs> absolutely no reason to Dakar, is there? Oh, he's tough scold. He's down to one reroll. He's got a he's got a dodge through. Is this a Geofire as well? It is a Geofire. Oh wow. Like, yeah, he's giving himself three turns. Three turns to turn over elves and score. I I think he needed he needed to score last turn really, to have a, a a shout. I think he should have been. I I think he should have pushed to be in range. Like I know the ball carry couldn't because the kick was so deep, but like I think he should have looked at a handoff to try and score in the last turn. I, I don't think scoring like he could have scored turn his turn twelve. Um, and I think he absolutely should have done that. Or like made the, like, if he failed the handoff trying to do it, I wouldn't hate it. Because three turns is not a lot. I mean, he's still on. He's still on. It's there. Um, whether or not it's going to happen, I doubt. But it, it is still there. And now it looks like we're, we're setting up for a quick score. So we're going to L drill. I guess we blitz the wrestle. We blitz the wrestle. We gaze the, the warrior. Nice weather. This is a risky setup as well. This is a super a blitz. A blitz here. It's risky. Yes, it's, he's going to gaze first. Fails the gaze. Okay, that is the advantage of doing it this way, is that you've got the assist. You can just blitz, you can blitz him now anyway. But then there is the dodge. Eh. Dunno. No. I think, I think I would have blitzed the wrestle first. I think I would have blitzed the wrestle. But then, the problem with that is... If you don't get the gaze, you're screwed, right? It's yeah, I guess he had to do it that way. I guess he had to do it that way. <laughs> and just elves. Agi five, absolute cheating. And uh, this is just this is three one, isn't it? How how do you stop this? You don't, do you? That's the answer. You just, you just don't stop this. Do a six plus dodge. <laughs> okay, that's how you do that. <laughs> you do a six plus dodge with Rackle, and you just absolutely sack the ball. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you deal with that. He has got this scoring. He's got the score. He's got the scoring for in. He can't make it though. Oh, I imagine that ball went out. Oh, and he, what was that? Uh, too many dice. Too many dice. Uh, I, didn't see. I don't know if he. I think he could have actually picked up the ball there. He would have been lobbing it over a catcher. Yeah, this is GG. Yeah. This is probably free one as well, just to add insult to injury. Oh, he's going on the bit, so. But yeah, <laughs> six plus dodge. That was pretty exciting. The reroll and the wrestle. I, I, I guess he wanted the surf because the surf guarantees the ball out, right? The, the surf guarantees the ball out, and he doesn't want the ball down here. Like, I mean, it's, it's 
maybe you just take the wrestle. Keep the reroll. You might need it for the catch. Um, but it's, yeah. Like, I can see why he did it. I can see why he did it. But, like, cause it guarantees the scattering to the crowd. But Pitch invasion. It's a pretty good game though. Pretty good game. Uh, like the base has just got run rings around, basically. I think uh, he was on forward. Like the kicks were like pretty much perfect for the high elves and stuff like that. And like the the, the high elf dacker was uh, <laughs> it was far from convincing, but it, it did get the job done. And I think like he could have just like hit Eldril that one particular turn. I think he had to hit Eldril instead of the side stepper, the the strength four catcher. I think there was a bit of greed that he just got punished for. Yeah, GG. <clears throat> right, well, congratulations to Bright. He's uh, marched through a potentially very difficult game. Uh, commiserations to Debaser. Like, really nice team. Really, really nice team. Um, like it's got to suck having a really nice team like that and going out uh, round two, um, but yeah, absolutely uh, cracking performance.